Um, okay, so today we're going to be making some forms uh, telling about yourself. What you can do is go into your Google Docs and create new and form. Okay, you could also go into an Excel sheet and go to form and hit create form. You can do that as well. Okay, so choose one that you want to do. So create form. Now, when we create our form, um, first of all, it gives us a title. Okay. Now, I want you to follow the, the directions according to um, the instructions that you got from the calendar. Okay. So it says, do you know, and then your name. So do you know Mr. Heil? And so that would be my title. And then at the top, um, I want you to put some uh, information about yourself uh, on that form. So let's go back to here, edit the form. So this is like the subtext, like people would, people would read beneath the title. Okay. Also what you can do is on the top there's theme. You can go ahead and add a theme of what you want it to look like. Okay. So if I um, want it to be more Wall Street style, like street, you can do that as well. Um, back to editing. Okay. So uh, when you edit a question, you can hit the little pencil box to edit and then type in your question. So I'm going to put uh, first or what is it? Name? What is it? Um, the directions it says put in your first and last name and then which countries have I lived in? Okay. So first and last name. Okay. And is this going to be a text type? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to make this a required question because they have to put in their name. So I know who it is. Going to the next one, edit. Now it's going to be uh, which countries have I lived in? Okay. Now this is going to be a check boxes because let's say I lived in more than one countries. Okay. So for me, I'm going to put in uh, USA and I'll put Hawaii in parentheses just so you'll know. Um, Next, I'll put in uh, Korea, and I'll put in Thailand, and I'll put in Middle East, and I'll put in like Taiwan. Okay, and so uh, I'm gonna choose one country that I haven't lived in. So I'm gonna mix it up a little bit. Let's put in. Bolivia, okay? So that's going to be the one. So maybe to help them out, because that might be a hard question for people to answer, and then I'll just put which... I could put which country have I not lived in, okay? Which country have I not lived in? So if you lived in a lot of countries, you may want to rephrase it to be like that. If you haven't lived in many countries, maybe just two, then you can rephrase it like the way we had it and there's more countries that aren't, you didn't live in, okay? Um, then you can hit add item on the top, and then you can choose the next type of um, question that we're gonna have. And I think the next question is a multiple choice, so I'm gonna choose that. So the multiple choice question next is gonna be, what is my favorite animated movie? Okay, so I'm gonna go back to my form uh, for my question. What is my favorite animated movie? How many guys saw Toy Story 3 this summer? Yeah, okay. So I could put uh, Toy Story 3. Then I could put, um, what comes in? Monsters Incorporated. And then I could put What's another one? So continue. Just put a bunch of answer choices for that. Um, you can add another to keep going. If you want, um, in the future, if you want to make a form that makes somebody like, let's say you want to make a form for a group, and then he says, "Are you a boy or a girl?" Okay, and right here it says boy, and here it says girl. And then if, the, if it says boy, if the person answers boy, then you want to hit like go to a page, uh, 
go to page based on answer. So the boys would have a separate survey and the girls would have a separate set of questions. You know what I mean? So that's a pretty advanced um, concept or a feature that Google Forms has. Okay. So the different um, choices, like there's multiple choice. There's also um, choose from a list. So you can put boy, girl. And then when you're done, notice that I can just choose from this list as well. You know. Um, there's a grid and scale. Okay. Grid is really helpful. You guys saw this when you took the tech survey. Um, so you can say like, like how good you like something, okay? And then scale of one to five. And then let's say I put, do you like Pepsi, okay? Or do you like Coke? Or do you like Mountain Dew, okay? So what that question would look like is like this. How well do you like Pepsi? I'll give it a two. Coke, I like that the most, five. Mountain Dew, okay, four, okay? And then uh, it would be very helpful if in the help text you would put five like equals like it a lot, you know, something like that, so people would know. Now, when you're ready for somebody to take the um, to take it, what you want to do is go up here to more actions. But before I do, let me go ahead and take the survey for a minute. So let's say he's a boy, I do this, and Middle East, name, John, and submit, okay? Now, when you submit, you have this little welcome um, screen. You can change this welcome screen, um, which is what you're supposed to be doing um, according to the directions. But once you're finished with that, I'm going to take it one more time just to show you guys what the results will look like. Okay, so I'm going to put boy again, Thailand, submit. Oh, forgot my name. My name is D. Call me D. All right, so now if I go to my form, I can go up to here and hit see responses. And I can put summary, okay? And here's my summary. So two people answered Middle East and Thailand like one time. Okay, what's my favorite movie? Okay, boy and girl. Two boys, so notice that's 100% of the people. If it was half and half, it would be 50-50. And notice it tells you how much people like things with Pepsi, Coke, and Mountain Dew. So it automatically um, graphs it for you and you can hit see response and it'll go to your spreadsheet and then show you what people entered. Okay? And it'll also show you the timestamp of when they did it. Um, now one, one thing you want to make sure is you can't like delete this or change it. Okay, it'll mess up the sync or the program. You want to make sure you don't. Now you can color it, like you can like make these two different colors. Let's say make these like fuchsia. That's okay, but you can't like edit this question here. What's my favorite animated movie from from this summer? You can't do that. You don't change it here because you won't see it change on the form. Okay. So don't change the content. You can change the appearance, but don't change the content. <coughs> now let's say you forgot to add a question. Okay, don't add the question here. You need to go back to your form and go to edit form. And then you can go ahead and edit it. If somebody already started taking the, the, the quiz or the survey and you want to add another question, you can still add another question. And then the people who take it afterwards, will, you will see that on the spreadsheet. Now if you want to email this to somebody, just put in their email and then send it to them and then they'll get the link. Or you can go to the bottom and copy that link at the bottom. It's kind of hard to see. And then um, you can put that on a web page or a blog and then people can take that as well. Okay? So that's a quick overview of how to do forms. It's very helpful. I think the hardest part of, about forms is not making it, but thinking what's a useful way that I can use this. Even in your life, like let's say you're planning a huge party you know you want to see who's coming and who can bring stuff or you're a captain of a team and you want to say hey do you guys want to meet on these days for practice or these days or do you guys want to do this or that so it can be really helpful in making your life easier all right so let's go ahead and continue making our forms and have fun with that